Hello fellow collectors, Jambo Comics back again with another comic haul. Got some Golden Age goodies and some other stuff from some local shops. And some just stuff I've just not put up before, so let's get on with it here. But before we do that, let everybody know this is not intended for kitties. No kitties, please. Thank you. First up, we got a uh, Swords of Valor. Got this just because well, it was a dollar. So, you know I'm cheap, and anything I get for a dollar is pretty cool. I'm going to get... Now, this has a uh, Frazetta cover. Uh, and it had some uh, Busima art inside of it. And it was pretty cool, actually. It's black and white inside, but still had some great art. And the Busima story I'd never seen before, so... Had to pick that up. It's pretty cool. And this one, Bub's Comics. I don't know if you're looking at this, but I'd not seen these before. And thought they were pretty cool. They were done by the artists who did the uh, Catwoman series back in the early 90s, I believe. Uh, Jim Balint, I think is his name. I just had never seen them before. Thought they were pretty cool. Damsels in Distressed, scantily clad, so it was a buck. Anytime, anytime I can find some good girl art for a buck, hey, it's a good deal. Love this cover. It's pretty cool. So, Bubs, if you've seen these before, you know about them. Yeah, maybe you can leave a comment for me. And I, like you, love the Cavewoman series when it was Bud Root art, but just hate the art on the inside of these now. So I'm probably not going to be buying many more of them. I love the Bud, Bud Root covers. Very cool. This one, she's free falling through the air after being dropped by a pterodactyl. Pretty cool. But... I'm not going to be getting too many more of those. Let's just change them up. This one here I thought was just cool. It was uh, out of the dollar bin. Iron Man 112, but it had the Punisher. This is the only other time I'd seen him was in a uh, Fantastic Four story from the Silver Age. That's pretty cool. I like that. And this one I got just because it was a Cap and a Hulk. And who doesn't like that, right? And it was cheap. Picked up the new Thor, number one. I uh, haven't read it yet, so I can't tell you anything about it. Uh, the artwork I'm not too taken with, but it's Thor. He's always been my favorite Marvel character. So I'll give it a shot. This one I got, because I got it at a cheap price, of course. It is All-Star number 59, the second appearance of Power Girl. Has some lovely Wally Wood art in it. Love Wally Wood. Uh, he had a little bit of a run on this series here for a while. And kind of like what he did with Power Girl there. It was pretty cool. And... This one looked like Wally Wood, but it was Orlando, I believe. And they kind of like did some work together. Or they worked quite a bit together. I think back in the day. So, just like that one. It's Showcase number 97. Pretty cool. Next one was one of the Demon in a Bottle Iron Man issue classic issue I'm sure everybody's got got this at a con with a buddy of mine uh, got a few books that day but uh, this is probably one of my favorite ones of the day uh, spines kind of broached out a little bit uh, bends and stuff in it probably wouldn't have got it but yeah I didn't have it and thought I'd pick it up so there it is and of course
course, more comic, Golden Age comics from the uh, Cowboy Collection still. I'm thinking that the Cowboy comic from the Golden Age and stuff is going to kind of make a bit of an upswing because they're still affordable and a lot of them have cool covers and there's some cool artists that worked in them. Some of the stories are pretty good too, if you read them. Uh, kind of enjoyed them. Uh, Straight Arrow. I think Charlton 66 was collecting these and had a nice little run of them. I think he put a video up, so check it out. It was pretty cool. Uh, it's Magazine Enterprises. This is number six. Uh, you know, it's kind of beat, but like I said, they're still pretty cool. And I think the Westerns are going to start making a comeback. At least the old issues like this. People are going to be seeking them out, I believe. Something cool to collect when you can't afford that Detective 27 and stuff. This is Lone Rider. This is an Ajax Farrell book. Uh, nothing fantastic. It's kind of chipped up at the bottom here and stuff. And, um, yeah. Just a nice book. It was pretty, pretty decent read. Not the best art, but, you know, still pretty cool. This one is a uh, better book from Standard, Standard Comics, Billy West. Number four. This one had a pretty decent cover and everything. The insides was nice. Uh, had a, some spine roll, but I think I could probably straighten that out. I might try to do that. This is from 1949. And it's number four, like I said. It's had some good girl art. A little bit on the inside there. It was pretty cool. Decent stories. Not a bad book. And this one I got. Was Rod Cameron Westerns. It's a Fawcett publication. I thought it was kind of a Dale at first. It kind of looked a lot... A lot like that kind of genre, excuse me, uh, with the photo cover and stuff, but uh, yeah, it wasn't bad. I mean, it's pretty cool. Uh, I remember him from uh, Rawhide. He was like the boss in Rawhide. Uh, he co-starred with Clint Eastwood. Yeah, he, the cactus patch here. Probably not the best place to have a shootout, but it's still a cool book. This one had a great cover on it. It wasn't bad stories. And let me see. This one was uh, 1952. Uh, Kinsler, I think, was the uh, artist here. Really nice. Really nice painted cover. Jesse James. Pretty cool. Really like that one. In pretty nice shape. Very cool. Love the colors on that. This next one is just something I had in collection. Uh, it's kind of beat, but uh, I got it quite a while ago. And when I originally bought it, I thought it may have been a Schomburg cover, but it's not. And yeah, after I got to looking at it, what really like his art, it's kind of messed up on the spine. Some chips missing at the top and everything and let's see I think it's a 1946 copy March has a good torch and Patriot story has a Miss America story in it too which was pretty cool and Submariner uh, still pretty cool glad to have it a lot of action on the cover here even though it's not a Schomburg good color like I said, you know, it's got some marks in it, kind of roached out and stuff there, but not a bad book. I'm trying to get some of these back. I had quite a few of these at one time, and I've let them get away over the years, and just trying to rebuild my collection of those, especially the Schomburg issues. But anytime I can find them, you know, like I said, I had this one for a while. Anytime I can find them, I'll grab them. The reasonable price, of course. This one I got, um, I think this is an eBay. Got it in a lot. Uh, a couple other books in with it and stuff. And it's kind of beat. Uh, a lot of chips out of it and stuff. But I just thought it was a neat old painted cover. 
Uh, it's a Ziff Davis publication, number 12, and uh, just the original G.I. Joe series. I guess this may have been where everything started, so, you know, pretty cool. Love the painted cover. The art was pretty good inside. It wasn't bad. And this one is from, uh, let's see. Didn't write the date. Don't remember the date. Sorry. Sorry, kitties. But, yeah. Pretty nice book. And this one is number 400 of 1952. This is a Dell book. Tom Corbett, Space Cadet. It's pretty nice. I just like the cover. It, too, is roached out on the side here and everything. Has some pretty good stories inside. Uh, just like the kind of spacesuits are wearing there. Uh, throwing down out in space. Pretty cool. Not bad. I'd like to have that in better condition. And this one I got was in that lot, I think. It was... Uh, Pretty beat and jank, but uh, it was a sensation from 1947. This is number 72. And it's, you know, other than reading, it's probably pretty much worthless. Big chunk out of it here. Uh, just a cool old Wonder Woman. Some cool stories inside and stuff. But like I said, it's just, that's about all it's good for us reading. But it's still... So fun to read. This one I got was a uh, Skyman number three, and uh, it's from 1947. And I got it because it was a good girl, good girl cover. Excuse me. Uh, just really liked it. Uh, the art inside was very cool. I don't know who the artist was. Uh, I'm guessing Mr. Whitley, but. Uh, just hadn't checked very many of these out before. And I enjoyed it. It was a good read. Had some good girl stuff. Some girls and negligees and stuff like that. Pretty cool. And I got one of my faves. Because I love this guy's artwork. Mr. Schomburg. It's number 58. And uh, it's a Princess Panther cover on it. And it's not airbrushed, but still a lot of great colors in it. Though the way he drew the girls and stuff there. And a lot of action on the cover here. So tear up the spine here. Like somebody got some kind of paint or something on the cover there. But uh, signed by Mr. Schomburg down here. And anytime I can get one of those, uh, I'll grab it up. Uh, Great find. I got it at a good price. So. Glad to add that to my collection. This is from 1947, I believe. Got a sticker over that. I believe that's from 1947. Very nice. Happy to have that. Cool Schomburg stuff. Yep. Schomburg goodness. And. Just a jungle. Uh, I had in the box with this and thought I'd throw it up. It's a nice Matt Baker cover. Number 129. Uh, pretty good stories in it. Like the artwork, of course. Cool cover. So I had tape pull here. The staples were holding on at the bottom. This top one is completely loose, but still, you know, like I said, it was all there and it was a good read. So. Glad to have that. Well, that's it for right now. I'll get some more stuff up. And if you would, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. I would sure appreciate it. Tell your friends. And remember, as Catwoman says, oops.